school for our fourth and final game of this holiday tournament where the York boys coming in at six and one will take on the Elkhorn Antlers at five and two. Elkhorn off to a nice start to their season. Only losses coming to the number two team ranked in class B, Scut. And then their other loss was to Elkhorn South by six. So they're off to a nice start to their season. New York boys off to a nice start as well. Their only loss coming to Aurora. And we're getting the starting lineups now and just about set to tip it off. take on Platteview in the championship tomorrow, and the loser will take on Ce Cecilia in the third place match. Right, and we are underway. The Dutes will possess first. Danielson's got it, drives in, kicks it back out to Lucas. Lucas drives, back out to Hoffman. Inside Danielson, baseline up and good. And the Dutes take a 2-0 lead. Up comes Hochstein for the Antlers. Just moving the ball around. Fates a shot, drives in on Hoffman, puts it up, and it uh, is up and good. Snodgrass hits it back out to Lucas, over to Danielson, top of the key, and it is good. A 5-2 lead as Danielson knocks down the three. And they'll put on a little half-court pressure here as Kyrie will dribble it up the court for the Antlers. Over to Balin. Shoot with it now. Balin and is fouled by Hoffman. So it'll be a side inbounds for the Antlers. Nice steal by Hoffman. He's got a man on him, but he puts it up and good. 7-2 lead. Nice steal and drive by Hoffman. Hochstein with it, passes inside to shoot. Shoot puts it up and it's good. Fast start for both teams, 7-4 and up ahead come the Dutes. Hoffman with it in the corner. Got Brady under the hoop, and Danielson is fouled. He'll go to the line and shoot two. Foul goes against Hochstein, and Danielson will shoot two. First one rattles in. Good. 
Danielson makes both in the 9-4 lead for York. Just two minutes into the game. A little full court press here by the Dukes. And Hotstein will take it up on Lucas. Bamlin with it. Bamlin top of the key. Drives in on Hoffman. And is blocked from behind. Nice block by Hoffman. Bailen face it three, drives, kicks out to Hochstein, he'll drive. And swatted by Snodgrass. And the crowd is emphatic after that block. Kyrie drives and puts it up and in. 9-6, three minutes into the game. Danielson faces three drives, gets it back out to Hoffman. Hoffman goes baseline, and they're gonna get an offensive foul going against Snodgrass. That's his first personal. And Jake Irwin will come into the game for Reed Hoffman for York. Tip pass by Danielson. And they'll say it's Alcorn Ball. Drew Christo will check in for the Antlers and for Beekman. Jake Irwin now guarding Balin. Kits over Hartstein, three. And it's just short. So York dude basketball after the rebound goes out of bounds. Danielson looking to get the offense going. Drives baseline, nothing there. Fakes the three, back out to Lucas. Danielson looking to find Snodgrass inside, gets it to him, Snodgrass drives, puts it up, no good, rebound Hochstein. And up come the Antlers. Nice steal by Jake Irwin. And Lucas gets it up to Irwin. Irwin to Cast, and Cast is fouled. Foul goes against Shooty. So Cass will go to the line to shoot two. An area where he's struggled so far this year. He wants to make a couple here. And rattles the first one home. Elliot Riley will check into the game. And Reed Hoffman's back in the game for Jeb Lucas. And Cass goes two for two at the line and gives him an 11-6 lead. And he'll come out right away. In comes Morgan Connor. 11-6 midway through the first. York leads over Elkhorn. A little full court pressure here. And they'll give it back to Riley as he'll take it up, working on Hoffman. Judy inside to Tristo. Tristo working on Snodgrass. Back out, Kare. Riley's got it now in the corner. Kare drives in the paint. Floater up and good. Danielson top of the key three and leaves it short. Rebound, Tristo. And up come the Antlers. Yeah. 
Christo working on Snodgrass. Ball is tipped and Hoffman's got it. He'll slow it down and drop it off to Danielson. Duke's looking to get it inside to Snodgrass. Ball goes off Snodgrass, uh, Irwin's hand and he recovers. Looking to get Snodgrass. Christo doing a nice job under the paint. So Deuce keeps swinging. Snodgrass will take it out of the top of the key over to Danielson. Hoffman, wide open look, puts it up, and it's in. Nice shot by Reed Hoffman. That gives the Deuce a 14-8 lead. Christo, mid-range, no good, rebound Hoffman. And it's stolen right away. Karai drops it off, Balin, Balin three, leaves it short. Rebound, nice save by Shooty. Riley got to open look, and no good. Rebound Irwin. And uh, they're gonna get a travel on Connor as he tried to dive for the ball. So we Elkhorn the basketball. And back into the game comes Jeb Lucas. And checking in is number 30, Gannon Rodert. He sits for a sophomore for the Antlers. So Riley will take it up. Minute 35 left in the first. Good hands by Irwin, recovered by Riley though. Another, almost a nice steal there by Irwin, but they're gonna get a foul on him as he went for the ball. That's Irwin's first personal. Karai to inbound. We're gonna get it inside, defense, nice defense by Morgan Connor. Down low, they're gonna say that one off a Duke player, so Elkhorn will retain possession. Minute eight, they're looking for the mismatch down low, Beekman on Connor. Connor's holding his own down low. Riley with it, at the top of the key, swings it over to Beekman. Beekman. And we'll call a foul on Morgan Connor, so Beachman will go to the line and shoot two. That's his first personal. And Beachman leaves the first one short. Beachman's second one is good. 14-9 lead, just under a minute to play. Here in the first quarter, Irwin will take it up for the Dukes. Screen by Cass, Lucas works it in, gets it in the corner to Hoffman, and it's gonna go through his hands, and it'll be Elkhorn basketball. Danielson will check in for Jake Irwin, and so will Snodgrass will also come in for Morgan Connor on the York side of things. And Riley will work it out with just 40 seconds left here in the first. We'll see if Elkhorn decides to hold it for one final shot. Ten seconds left, Riley working on cast. Good defense here by the Dudes, they get it inside to, and then a nice block by Snodgrass, and Lucas will put up a three at the buzzer, and it's no good. So 14-9, York leads over Elkhorn. We'll be right back for the second quarter.
Welcome back to York High School. And the Elkhorn Antlers will have the ball down 14-9 to start it off. Hodgson will take it up the floor. Double team on Karai, swings to Beekman. Balin fades to three, Dot Hoffman off his feet. Hodgson with it in the corner. Drive Karai, and it's up and good. Fourteen eleven lead. York has possession. Hoffman face the three. A lot of passing going on right now by the Dukes. Lucas drives in, kicks it back out to Danielson, and back out to Lucas. Looking inside to Snodgrass. Snodgrass on Beedman. Here comes the double. Snodgrass left hand, no good. Hochstein takes it up the floor, and it will slow it down. Working on Snodgrass, loses the handle, kicks in the corner, Karai drives. And a nice block by Snodgrass, that's his third of the game. It'll be Elkhorn ball. Karai throws it into Hochstein, and he's got it at the top of the key. Judy driving on Cass, gets it back out. And they'll swing it over to Balin. Balin with the drive, nice dish, and a score to Beekman. And now it's a 14-13 game. York got just a one point lead. Lucas fakes the three in the corner, drives into the paint, gets it back out to Danielson, and the three is no good. So up come the Antlers with a chance to take the lead. Hotstein drives in, hits it, Beatman mid-range, no good. A nice board by Wyatt Cast. Lucas thought about it, kicks it over to Snodgrass. Screen for Hoffman, Hoffman wide open, but they're gonna get a travel. Oh, excuse me, they're gonna get a travel on it. number 35, Garrett Snodgrass. That's his second personal. Hotstein, nice dish to Balin. And they're gonna get a foul. Late whistle there on Snodgrass. And that's his third personal. He's in foul trouble here early. With 5.14 left in the second quarter. Already has three fouls. That could be costly for the Dutes as he is their second leading scorer on the year. And Balin misses the first one. And Balin's second free throw rattles home. So now we got a tie game, 14-14. As Irwin checked in for Snodgrass. Lucas driving in, back over to Danielson. Cass with the screen, Danielson dishes it off to Cass. Cass, right hand, and it's up and good. Nice post move by White. Cass. And he's got his second basket of the game.
Balin thought about it. Kicked it over to Hochstein. Inside Shooty. Shooty drives. Dish to Beekman, and it's good. A lot of nice passing going on by the Elkhorn Antlers here in the second quarter. 16-16, 4.15 remains. We'll be right back out, out of the timeout. Sixteen, sixteen game, and Lucas will take it out for the Dukes. Danielson thought about it, keeps his dribble, passes out to Lucas. Lucas drives baseline, Danielson, and he gets fouled. He'll go to the line and shoot two. Makes the first, and the Dutes regain the lead. Second one's up and good. And double comes on Hochstein here. He's in a little pickle, and he'll dish it up to Riley. Riley on the fast break, slows it down, gets it back out, shooty, three. No good, rebound Danielson. Danielson pushes the pace, gets it back out to Cass, and he'll drop it off for Hoffman. Back out to Lucas, Lucas drives. Danielson, three guys on him, no good. And a rebound, Shooty. Nice defense by the Antlers there. And Riley will take it up. Gets it inside under the hoop. Beatman with it, gets back out to Hochstein. Karai drives, no good on the layup. Danielson up to Hoffman, back out to Danielson, over to Cast. Lucas, spin move, tries to dish it off to Irwin, Irwin recovers, and his pass is out of bounds, and that'll be a turnover. Morgan Connor checks in for Reed Hoffman. Nice block by Morgan Connor there. On the shot by Christo. Danielson looks to set it up. Lucas thought about the three, dishes back to Cast. Cast over to Danielson. And they're gonna say it went off the Elkhorn Antlers leg down in the corner. Oh, they're gonna get a blocking foul, excuse me. So it'll be an inbounds under the hoop for York. drives, back out to Lucas, Lucas spin move, goes for the layup, gets it blocked, rebound Irwin, Danielson, and they're gonna say a charge, nice charge there by Drew Christo, 
And that'll be Danielson's first of the game. Team's seventh foul, so Alcorn will be shooting a one and one for the remainder of this half. Riley breaks the full court press. Irwin's all over him. And back out to Balin. Minute 20 left here in the half. Fry thought about baseline. Nice D by Danielson. Balin drives. Kits to Riley. Tries to make the extra pass, and Hoffman with the steal. He's got two defenders back on him on the fast break, and they're going to get a foul. Shooty second foul. Danielson will go to the line, or excuse me, Hoffman will go to the line and shoot two. And the first one is good. Lucas will check in for Morgan Connor. Hoffman second, bounces out. Scramble for the ball and it's rebounded by Riley. So Antler's possession, 50 seconds left, 19-16 lead for York. Splits the double, Balin loses it and they're gonna say it, it was off a York dude player right in front of the York dude bench. So the Antlers will retain possession with 44.1 seconds left in the first half. We're gonna call Riley with a walk. Turnover there by the Antlers will give the dudes the ball back with 35 seconds left. And they'll hold for one final shot as Danielson slowly takes it up. Glances up at the clock. Keeps glancing up there. Just 10 seconds left in the second quarter. Working on Balin. Danielson puts it up. One hand, mid-range, no good. Rebound goes to Riley, and that shot will not go. Wouldn't have counted anyway. So 19 to 16, the York Dukes lead over the Elkhorn Antlers after two quarters of play. We'll be right back in about 10 minutes for the second half. Thank you. 